Hey, Primatech peeps, welcome back to the Primatech Files, a Southgate Media Group podcast dedicated to all things Heroes Prime and Heroes Reborn related things. As you heard from the bumper, we have an interview with Timothy Zahn, the writer of A Matter of Trust. It's only me today because I went to a kind of convention over here in the UK and it had Timothy Zahn and Greg Grunberg there. So I'm going to let you listen to the interview and we'll get on to uh, a bit of talk about Matt Parkman himself, Greg Grunberg. Before we get into the the crux of um, A Matter of Trust, did you watch Heroes before starting, before you wrote with them? Yeah, we watched the uh, first two seasons and part of the third and then... Uh, and then you trailed off, yeah. yeah trailed off. They, they were having some trouble with characters who were too powerful. That's always danger whenever you do superhero type mm. characters. Yeah. And as you heard, that is the end of the interview because the batteries on my microphone ran out. So yeah, um, there's nothing much I can really do apart from I can go over some of the questions that I asked him and um, I'll see what I can remember. So I asked him, did he pitch ideas for the book or were he was he given ideas for the book? And he told me that he was pitched the ideas and he liked the idea of Father Maurizio and developing more on his story. Um, he said that there was a lot of back and forth uh, between him and the producers. He'd worked with James Middleton before, so you know that kind of made it a bit easier for him. And that's all I really remember. The, the only other thing I can remember is asking him is if he was to write another story, what would he write it about? And he said he'd probably go back to Father Maurizio and tell a bit more about his story. I did also ask him what he thought about Canada and whether or not it was a safe haven. And he said... He didn't really know, you know, he got five scripts before starting to write it and that's all he really got. He also told me that he watched the show and he said that it kind of went downhill because of too many characters. I can understand how we can see that, but yeah, that's basically all there is. So, the only other thing I've got to talk to you about is meeting Greg Grunberg so I arrived there early I've got a press pass so you know I was able to try and get an interview I I went to the pit bosses and asked you know could I get an interview with Greg Grunberg and he was basically the most famous person there because obviously he's he's in Star Wars and there wasn't a lot of big names there but he was the biggest name I asked if I could take an get an interview and they said mm, look he's really busy he had like panels he had photographs that he had to get to and he was also autographing for loads of people so I said look I'm going to ask him for an interview off my own back. I'm just going to give him my Twitter handle and he can get in touch with us. And they were like, yeah, yeah, that's more than fine. So basically I had to wait around to my chance in line. They do virtual lines at this place. So, you know, you take a ticket and you come back when your number's around about called up. So that took a couple of hours because I got there in the morning and the first, like about midday, he had to go to Photogs and then he went to a panel. So I wasn't re- I was waiting around for about, four or five hours just to get to talk to him so I'm in the line I get to the front I congratulate him on his um dream jumper graphic novel and also working with Kevin Smith on the new tv program or I think it's a a talk show type thing that they're they're working on google it you'll you'll find it he he was really nice he was you know he's he takes the time to talk to people you know he's he's been to the convention so he knows you know how the 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 lay of the land and how to talk to peeps so i i gave him my gave him the twitter handle and i was like look just send me a dm there's a lot of people just you know can we get an interview at some point and he was like yeah yeah sure come sit down next to me now and we'll we'll do this interview in between autographs so you know <laughs> i freaked out so i was sitting next to greg grunberg getting you know trying to get this all done but there was just too many people too many people were asking him for his autograph and you know I wasn't going to begrudge all these other fans who had come all this way to kind of talk to him I gave him my details I I took a little bit of a selfie with him and yeah I'm still waiting to hear back from him basically but you know hopefully it all works out but yeah this isn't a, a long episode it's literally just going to be this so you know hopefully you enjoyed it uh, you know our social details. All you got to do is find Primatech Files on any podcatcher service or any social media. We're still going because it's showing here in the UK at the moment. So, you know, I'm tweeting out. We're still getting some fans, but 
we want to hear back from some of you guys from back in the day so you know send us an email let us know what you think let us know what you'd like us to talk about anything like that so yeah until next time download the podcast save the world <laughs>